whenever you're ready. Okay. Bonjour, Ani. I'm going to make a scene in the digital cars. This is the door door. I'm going to get my mom and dad to get a big zipping in the Slavic. Okay, get to know that dog way of mong my own monkey. I'm going to go on each day when they went by. I would like to just acknowledge all of our our friends, our, our brothers and sisters from the East Coast. Uh, the Mi'kmaq people are, are going through a very challenging and testing time right now regarding shale gas development. And we just want to let you know that the Anishinaabe in our territory are, are very supportive and that we're keeping a watchful eye you know, from this part of the land, from the, this part of the Turtle Island. And we are very much uh, in support of and, we don't take it lightly that the struggles that you're going through as a people, but uh, that the, the honor and the sacred obligation of protecting Mother Earth and protecting the lifeblood, which we know as water, is a, is a sacred obligation that must be upheld by all Indigenous people on this land. So we're here uh, on Highway 6 and 17, and I just happened to be passing through, and I saw Chief Air from Chiging and his people uh, out here demonstrating it. We did a traffic slowdown. And one of the things that we uh, felt was necessary to do was to send a letter to the Ontario Provincial Police Commissioner and get that message up to the Premier's office so that we're supportive of our, our big law friends uh, in the East. That we also, uh, uh, in, in respect and response to the safety and security of the environment and Mother Earth, that, that we must not allow shale gas development to, to impact that lifeblood for the next generation of the water. So we will continue uh, to be vigilant on this issue and that we will keep making it high 